Hello ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to another episode of Cooking with Cheese! Today we're making Mexican rice. Let's get it. Alrighty, the first step is going to be to cut up two shallots. Next, we're going to add in some fire roasted peppers. For the rice, you're going to want to add about 4 cups of basmati rice. This is the brand I'm using, Royale. You're going to add that to a shiv or whatever this is called. Sieve? Sieve? Something like that. You're going to wash the rice. You'll know the rice is done when the water running from it is a little bit clear. The water running from it right now is still a little bit cloudy, so I'm going to keep going for a couple more seconds. All right, after running it for about a minute, as you can see now, the water's kind of cleared up a little bit. In a large pan over high heat, we're going to add some of a bottle oil. This is a trick I saw on some YouTube channel um, somewhere. If you're cooking with a wooden spoon, if you put the wooden spoon to the oil and it starts sizzling, I don't know if you can tell, but yeah, it's a little bit of sizzle. It means the oil is hot enough. Once the oil is nice and hot, you're gonna reduce the heat to about medium. You're gonna add in your shallots. You can also use onions if you want to. Once the shallots start to brown, we're gonna crush in four cloves of garlic. After about 30 seconds, once the garlic is nice and fragrant, we're gonna add about half a tube of tube fist. <laughs> Tomato paste, obviously, half a fist. That's a tube paste, wow. Next, we're gonna add some paprika. Onion powder. Garlic powder. If you want a little bit of heat, use some cayenne red pepper. We're also going to add a little bit of chili powder. Next, we're going to add some coriander and some cumin. And next, we're going to add in our crushed red peppers. Add oil as needed. Next, we're going to add in some tomato bouillon, or you could use chicken bouillon. Mm -hmm. 
Next, we're gonna add in the rice from earlier that we washed. And you wanna mix this all together until each slice is kind of coated with that red uh, tomato sauce. Once you're done stirring everything together, it should look like this. And you're just gonna keep toasting the rice in this for about, about five minutes. After about five minutes, the rice should be like this, where it's kind of still clumped together, but it's not like hard to separate apart. Once you get your rice to this point, you're gonna add some unsalted chicken stock. After you have all the rice submerged, you're gonna cover it and you're gonna let it cook for about 20 to 25 minutes or until the rice is cooked. It may vary on the type of stove and cooker and stuff you have. After about 20 minutes, your rice should be about done. Just open and stir it up. As you can see the rice is nice and fluffy now. After fluffing the rice a little bit, while the heat's still on, we're gonna add some frozen green peas. After making sure the peas are nicely distributed between the rice, you're gonna put the rice on low and cover it up to steam those peas. After about two minutes, you're gonna stir everything up again. See if you have any frozen pea chunks in here or not. And now you salt and pepper to taste and we're all done. Alrighty, ladies and gentlemen, time for the taste test. Big bite. Little bit of lime. Most definitely is cheese delicious. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe. Until next time, peace.